Financial Intelligence Moment. This is Financial Intelligence Moment. The difference between the rich and the poor is knowledge. Financial Intelligence Moment is designed to expose some of the financial mistakes that has kept the poor poorer. The poor desires financial security, while the rich takes risk with financial intelligence to achieve financial freedom. The poor in most cases has just one means of income, while the rich has multiple streams of income. The question is, do you spend more than you earn? This is Financial Intelligence Moment. All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good day. Wherever you are, um, it's an amazing time. It's awesome. I I'm super excited to be your host today on the financial intelligence moment with the FBI coach. You're welcome to my channel. You're welcome to the Grace Impact Radio. You're welcome to my YouTube channel. I appreciate every one of you joining me today. My name is Charles Aze. They call me. The FBI coach. FBI stands for Financial and Business Intelligence. For those who don't know, um, it, it, I've been on this journey for uh, going to two decades. I've been in um, in the business development world, um, building small businesses. Actually, my target or my core area, my area of influence has always been um, small business owners, startups, professionals and those at the mid of the, uh, the, 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 let me not say the mid of the pyramid, but those, the middle class, you know, but in our world today, you agree with me that uh, the situation going on around our world has affected both those at the base of the pyramid, the middle class and the upper class. All right. So what I'll be sharing with you today on uh, today's edition of Financial Intelligence Moment with the FBI coach is going to help you. It's going to it's going to help to change a lot of things about your business, about your finances. Uh, I mean, it, it doesn't matter where you are stuck at the moment. It doesn't matter what is going on in your business. Um, these are the things I have experienced. I have put them into practice. Uh, and um, I learned this from my mentor. I decided to implement these strategies. It has worked and it's still working because once um, I experience any blockage, I experience any setback, I experience, uh, experience any impediment, what I do is to go back to this blueprint you're welcome to the grace impact radio where world music and entertainment lives and you're also welcome to my youtube channel fbi coach i i appreciate my returning subscribers now if you are watching a replay i appreciate every one of you if you are if this is your first time of being on my channel please do subscribe to my channel i remember that bell turn it on activate news that's the notification button so that Whenever I drop content, you're one of the first to get to know. And um, please share the link you have, the Grace Impact Radio link, the YouTube link you have. Share it with your friends. Share it with your loved ones. Like I often say, let us be a blessing wholesale. Share with your enemies because that will make them be at peace with you. Now, that being said, let us dive right inside what we have for you today what i have to share with you today um I, I know time isn't our friend so i'm going to maximize the little time i have here uh to give you the best on what i have put to practice now today i'll be sharing with you on what i title how to turn your business around how to turn your business around now for those of you on youtube i'm going to be sharing my screen so that you can uh see my slides all right then those on listening to me on the radio please stay glued to your radio remember to invite your friends your loved ones to join us on today's edition of financial intelligence moment like i said i'll be speaking to us on what i title how to turn your business around you know in life there are a few things we do and sometimes we begin to wonder 
are these things really working? Are, are things really working in my life? Is it working in my business? You know, but the truth remains, yes, there are things that are working and there are things that are also not working. It's not as if God does not love you. It's not as if God has not answered your prayer. But sometimes he will allow you to make certain decisions in order to get on the right track, in order to strengthen you for where he is taking you to. When you pray and ask God for financial breakthrough, financial um, um, uh, open doors and all that, God answers your prayer in three ways. I have said this before and I'm saying it again because it bears repetition. God does not send money from above. If God sends money from above right now, I bet you that money is counterfeit because money is not spent in heaven. What God does is that when you ask, when you ask him for money, the first thing he does is to give you an idea. That is the first way God answers your prayer. He gives you an idea. He will give you an idea that is beyond the ordinary. He will give you, sometimes he'll give you the idea that is so insignificant. I mean, you, when that idea comes to you, you'll be wondering, a hold me, why should I do this? But it is in that whole you that the real thing comes out. I remember um, Chief Otumba, I've forgotten his full name, you know, but the man who invented the mobile toilet in Nigeria, West Africa. <laughs> now, that man, he started the business in Lagos. How did it happen? He went for an occasion and suddenly he developed a, a stomach upset. He wanted to use the um, the the other room, but there was none available. The man was so disturbed. That was what gave him idea of starting. He called it the shit business, mobile toilets, and it, and it became so popular in 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 event places in Lagos back then. You know, so and and that made the man a billionaire before he passed on. Bef uh, uh, subsequently, other people delved into that um, sector but he has carved a path he has created an avenue for other people to make money it's just like this sachet water which we in nigeria palace they call it the pure water the pure water they are referring to is the sachet water you know they have bottled water then there's a water which is packed. Now, for those of you who live in Nigeria or in West Africa, you understand what I mean. If you are living in other parts of the world, in Nigeria, there is this water they call the pure water or sachet water, which basically uh, people can buy it on the street in any traffic in the shops. And it's one of the uh, cheapest water you can find around. Okay, so the man who invented that sachet water was trying to um, elevate the class of water from what we call ice water. Back in the days when we were in school, there's a water we call ice water. You know, let me not delve right into all that. Let me not start unbundling that. <laughs> okay, so what this man did was to invent the sachet water and the invention of the sachet water gave birth to a whole lot of stuff when your business is experiencing some setbacks some ups and downs there are a few things you can do to tweak the process okay so if you are feeling stuck in your business and um, it seems as though you are at a standstill it seems as though nothing is working don't worry there are steps that can get you moving again there are steps that can turn on the ignition of your car or the ignition of your uh, business to get it moving again and this uh, uh, strategies i'll be sharing with you these are practical and effective effective strategies that will help you overcome every form of obstacle and challenges that is holding back your business, that is holding back your finances, you know, and when you put this to practice, you will see yourself moving from point A to point Z. It, this works both for employees, employers, you are a network marketer, whatever you do, 
you need these strategies. And if your business is going through a phase, challenging phase, it can be stressful. I understand. It can be stressful. It can be uh, overwhelming. However, there are several steps you can take to get your business back on track. And that's what I'm going to be sharing with you today. So the number one thing you will do to get your business back on track is to review your plans. As a business owner, as an entrepreneur, it is crucial to periodically review your plans and strategies. Because if you are not as fresh as a vintage wine, you will be thrown out of market. And, and in order for you not to in order for you to ensure that you are on the right track, you need to review your plans, you need to review your goals. Over time, your business plan can become obsolete. It can become outdo out, um, uh, outdated. Or it, it might even, uh, um, it, might, it might no longer be visible, you know, due to the changes of the market condition, um, changes of uh, customer preferences. Maybe the customer wanted um, the A type of way you treat them. Suddenly, they have changed to the B type because of the invention of the IT, the artificial intelligence, um, it, or your own business uh, uh, priorities. It might be due to uh, the things which you are focusing on. These are the things that can make your plans to become outdated. So it, it's important for you to take steps back and reassess your business uh, plans and goals uh, to make sure that um, you are headed in the right direction. To begin with, you should evaluate whether you are uh, whether your current business plan uh, is it still aligns with the latest market trends, because the demands keep changing, the trends keep changing. You need to stay fresh. You need to stay up to date. Even your computer system, the uh, um, what is it called? The operating system you use on your mobile phones, on your computer, every now and then, they keep updating. Why? Because it is not the way it was in the beginning that it is now, and so shall it be to the world without ending. No, you keep changing the trends. So when you ask God for money, he gives you an idea. And that idea, it doesn't mean that you will just remain on that idea. When God gave you that idea, probably was five years ago. And today you want to implement that idea. You need to reassess your plans. You need to reassess your goals. The second way God answers your prayer is by sending people your way. When you reassess that plan, you reassess your goals, God will then connect you with men and women that will help you build and actualize that vision. It is called vision helpers, destiny helpers. I have experienced tremendous business and uh, uh, destiny helpers my way. It's important for you to treat people rightly. Several years back, I had a business encounter with someone back in... Um, uh, uh, somewhere in East Africa. Now, this guy, uh, uh, when I went to that country, I had a little challenge. And this guy was one of those who stood by to uh, shorty for me that, look, what you guys are saying isn't the truth. And, and because he is well known, they took his words. And that was how my business was not crumbled in that country. I, I was succeeded in doing my trainings and I got paid for what I went there and um, I came back to Nigeria. Now, when I got back to my country that time, I sent him a message on WhatsApp and that's how we got talking. We started doing one or two businesses together and all that. And sometime uh, last year, I was on one of my international trips. I, I, met this guy <laughs> it was so funny i happened to be enlisted as one of the speakers in a conference that I, I i do a lot of business training for companies and it happened that this same guy was also a uh, part of uh, a faculty another company offering a leadership training for this same organization while mine was on personal finance and um, 
planning uh, work after life after work. That was what I was doing for that company at that particular time. So this guy, he had a challenge with the the person who was supposed to bring him into the company the guy who owns the company saw this my friend as a threat because of his capacity he was feeling intimidated that look if i present this guy as one of my faculties he might they might this company might end up choosing him over me and when this guy said all that to me, uh, the owner of the, the company that I, I'm, I'm working, I'm not working with the company, my co-trainer, let me use that word. Now, when he said this to me, I, I looked at the name, I, I said, I know this name. And I demanded for his picture. When I saw his picture, I said to him, look, this guy is not who you think. Your assumptions are wrong. Give this guy a chance and you'll be amazed. Ladies and gentlemen, my dear listeners and my dear viewers, haven't followed my instructor or my advice, this guy's business, well, we still partner to do things here and there, this guy's business has skyrocketed. Why? Because I decided to, because this guy treated me well back in the days. He treated me well when I needed him. So I, I returned the favor. What am I trying to say? don't treat people bad don't treat people bad it's very important for you to manage people number two thing you need to do is to review your finances it's very important to review your finances and to ensure financial uh, uh, stability of your business or the financial health of your business it's important to conduct a thorough analysis of your business or thorough analysis of your finances. It's very, very important. It, it entails um, um, careful examining of your income and expenses to identify where there are loopholes, where there are overspending, or your business or your finance is experiencing uh, uh, revenue stagnation, yeah, or um, inefficiencies, I mean, there are so many things that can go wrong with your finances but if you if you don't review it you will not know these things are there once you've identified these areas you can take steps to address them by implementing cost effective cost effective measures it's very important and by identifying other opportunities you can maximize to generate more revenue so when God answers your prayer, remember I said the first thing he does is to give you an idea. The second thing is to connect you with people. The third thing he does is that those people you have used, um, you don't, uh, did I say use a bigger pardon? Those people you have maximized and built solid relationship with will trans convert into currency, into money flowing into your account. It, it, that's when they dollars, the pounds, sterling, the Japanese yen, the euros, the naira, the cities, everything will start flowing in. So you need to maximize the, and it starts from the idea, from the plan. And by doing so, you can put your business on a path of, uh, uh, towards financial stability and success. When your finances are wrong, it is like having a bucket filled with water, but with open holes underneath. The water will be dripping gradually. And before you know it, everything is done. Everything is gone. The bucket is empty. That is how, if you are not taking good care of your finances, your business finances, that is how it will gradually liquidate your business. It might be your lifestyle, the way you spend money. When I was driving network marketing fully, one thing I did was every money I make, I don't consider it that, oh, I have broken even, I have hit the jackpot. I take that money or that reward as I take about 60% of it, I plow it back into my system. How do I plow it back into the business? I convert it into training my team members. I convert it into travels, going to different places to support my team members. I convert it into 
uh, creating an online platform where we where we do trainings and all that. I, I mean, sixty percent of the money goes back into the business, and this goes not just for network marketers but all for entrepreneurs. Even if you are, you have a job and you are thinking of starting a business, just know this and know it well that every money you made or you make is not for you to consume. Part of this money should be plowed back into the system because you need to grow, you need to increase your revenue, all right? The third thing you need to do is to review your customer relationship. Sometimes your, your business is uh, uh, experiencing some turbulence. It's not because you have not done well in your planning. It's not because you have not um, uh, uh, secured your financial um, loopholes very well. It could be your customer relationship. It could be the way your team members are relating with those that are getting into the business newly. It might be, so you need to create your own 82 battalion or you call it, I call it the five man uh, team. There's, I, when I was in uh, uh, network marketing, I use, I use what I call the, I call it the inner circle. And my inner circle is always five persons in my inner circle. And those my inner circle, I'll ask each of them to also have their own inner circle. Five persons as well. Have your own, each of you should have your own inner circle. And teach your own uh, team members to also duplicate the same principle. That power of five makes you sure. That power of five secures your business in multiple ways so my inner circle my five the first thing i do every day is to communicate with them i have a special group where we discuss where we plan we strategize okay this is what we're going to do this week this is what we're going to do uh today this is what we're going to do what did not what worked what did not work how we're going to make it better and i also encourage them to do the same thing for their team set out a day we have a specific day every one of us we so when I'm done with them, did I say I'm done with them? When I finish my meeting with my five, I ask them, go to your team. So if I choose, for example, Saturdays for myself, I ask them to choose Thursdays or Wednesdays. Or so. But the five of them must have a specific day, specific time they will meet. At the end of the meeting, they will come back to me and share the review of the meeting, what they learned, how, uh, what they have discovered, what plans to go in forward. And they also will ask their five to choose their own five. So we have multiples of five. See, this strategy gave me about 10 generations active members in my team. 10 generations. It's amazing. It makes you a lot of money. So people are wondering, oh, how are you doing it? What are you doing? This is the secret. This is the strategy. <laughs> I mean, I, I was um, talking to some persons. I conducted a training for a company and um, they were trying to break down their leadership structure. And I shared this strategy with them. The, the man said, do you think it will work? I said, try it out. Try it out. Try this strategy in your sales team. Let's see in your marketing team and your sales team. Let's see what happens. So each of them, because the, the company is not so much that they need the power of five, I said you can do power of five or power of three. So you can try the power of, of three. And he started it. The, the sales department had the power of three. The um, marketing department also had the power of three. In six months, their revenue skyrocketed. It was oh, English skyrocketed <laughs> i beg your pardon in three months in three months in three months they started seeing the effect in six months their revenue skyrocketed by the time they were clocking i think about the seventh or the eighth month it was awesome I, I kept receiving calls charles we need you we need you here we need you. so that singular strategy gave birth to multiple business opportunities just one idea. Because I implemented this idea, it worked for me. I decided to duplicate it and it's working. And I'm sharing with you as you're listening to me or you are viewing today, 
review your customer relationship how do you how do you relate with your customers how do your team relate with your customer review the strategy review the plan it's important to focus on improving their experience by actively engaging with them engage with your team members engage with your customers engage with your uh we call it the downlines but i don't use downline for me it's derogatory they are my team members and you also need to solicit feedback and addressing any issues of grievances that may have uh, or that might have arise don't just say oh it's one of those things don't just brush it off by by um fostering and opening a communicative relationship with your customers you can give valuable insights into their needs and preferences they will open up and tell you a whole lot of things and allowing you to tailor uh, um uh, uh, uh your 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 product and services accordingly uh, you know to suit them it, it's important in short prioritizing your customer relationship it can help your business flourish in the long run and by ensuring that you are providing these uh, services to them it gives them the best experience best customer service by reaping benefits of loyalty and advocacy you see that these people will not want to go to another place but they will focus on you because they are getting the best customer relationship they are getting the best review and it starts by the strategy which you build how are you connecting with your business how are you connecting with your team members because when i say customers i'm not just re referring to those who are buying from you i'm also talking about your team members your team members are your customers those you are leading are also your customers see them as your customers handle them rightly and when you do that you enjoy the gains. i believe you're getting value from what i'm sharing with you please put it up in the comment section and remember to share the link with those around you let's invite others to join us and learn what we are learning here okay number four review your team strength now this one involves uh various aspects of your business to ensure um its growth and success so what i shared on number three where i talked about the power of three and power of four and power of five power of three and power of five i beg your pardon you can also uh use it here you can also implement it here you can empower your team by creating a collaborative environment that fosters innovation and um problem solving skills will just start emanating you know you just start springing up from nowhere because if you are providing them with the necessary training and um resources it can help them improve their skills and perform their best don't be selfish provide trainings invest in your team members when you invest in your team members your team members actually become the backbone of your business and their involvement and participation are critical to achieving your goals it's very 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 important okay now finally for today if your business is stuck you need to seek external support what did i say you need to seek external support it's essential to acknowledge that um seeking external support is uh crucial it's very important especially when you're facing uh difficulties in your business you should not hesitate to ask for help from mentors from coaches from advisors or business coaches you know or uh, those that possess vast knowledge and experience in your chosen field they can help you get started they can help you uh, pivot they can help you get back on track sometimes we don't see certain things the only way you can see it is for you to step out as a consultant in your business that's one of the ways you can see the challenge because if you are in it you might you might not see it and another thing you also need to um think about is to uh consider uh forming partnerships or collaboration with other businesses to expand your reach and capabilities we call it the connected economy 
you need to get involved in a connected economy because this approach will enable you to tap into new networks, tap into new ideas, tap into new resources, pool of resources, uh, and enhance your uh, uh, chances of success for your business in the long run. And by taking these steps, you can get your business back on track and overcome um, challenges you are facing. I, I believe you, you got value from what I have shared with you today, okay? So put these things to practice. Uh, remember, God answers your prayer in three ways. First, he sends you an idea. The second thing he does is to um, connect you with people. And the third thing is the fact that he sends money your way through the people you have worked with. I, it's been my pump pleasing pleasure and my privilege to be with you or to share with you today on the Grace Impact Radio Wear World Music and Entertainment List and on my YouTube channel. I appreciate every one of you and do have a wonderful day. Bye. This is Financial Intelligence Moment. Until next week, manage your expenses, increase your income, and keep working towards financial freedom. <laughs>